you guys, it's Lindsay here and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, like rain jackets and like water repellent type of stuff. Um, here in Charleston, we definitely have two rainy seasons every year, one in the spring and one in the fall. And it's like one second, it's bright and sunny and perfect. And then the next second, it's like a complete downpour. <laughs> anyway, so it's always really handy to have um, a rain jacket on hand, but it's so hot here and really muggy, especially after it rains or when there's that moisture in the air that you can't wear like a traditional rain jacket. You really have to find something that's water repellent, but breathable. So last year, was it last year? Whenever Soaholic came out with their um, Vancouver collection, there were actually two raincoats in there. One is the Cypress Cape and the other is the Seymour Jacket. Uh, instantly, Abby and I both purchased both the whole collection. We were just so in love with the whole thing. And I jumped right into both of those projects. I really wanted to have some cute, lightweight jackets to wear. Um, recently, I've talked about this already before, the McCall's 7333 pattern. Um, this is another really great one that would call for um, some kind of like water repellent type of fabric. Um, but you know, what, where do you even start in trying to find that fabric? Um, I had heard of Suplex before, and so I just did a general search for Suplex and landed on this website called Rocky Woods Fabric, and their fabric selection is truly for anything related to outdoors. I mean, they don't sell your traditional fashion fabrics at all. They sell stuff to make sleeping bags and tents and, you know, things like that, like really outdoorsy type of stuff. I probably never would normally have find myself on their site if it weren't for the Suplex. Um, but in addition to the Suplex, they also sell something called Taslan. So I didn't really know the difference between the two. I, from what I understand, Suplex is the name brand and Taslan is the generic version of the name brand. Now they do have different weights and different types of Taslan, um, but Suplex is pretty universal. There's only the one weight and the one kind, I think. Either way, so I went on their website. I was completely overwhelmed. There were so many colors I, and so many beautiful colors. I didn't know what to choose from. So I just went with an olive green. You can see this is my Seymour jacket back here on Judy. But Abby, she thought she was getting like a really light baby pink. And what showed up is like bubble gum, like bubble gum pink. It's still in her stash. She has no idea what she's going to do with it. Um, so whenever I got the McCall's pattern, I said, I don't want to make that mistake. Like I want to make something really fun and springy and not a neutral like I'm normally drawn to. So I went back to Rocky Woods, was kind of like looking around, trying to find something that I thought would be okay when I realized they will actually sell you a sample of every single one of their Suplex and Taslan fabrics for like 20 bucks or something. And I thought that is so worth it so that I don't end up with a fabric that I don't love and that just stays in my stash and I, have not, I can't do anything with it. So I ordered that and here it is. I tied them all together with a string. They came kind of all loose, but this is all of them. There are seriously so many. I haven't counted them all. There must be more than 30 of them in here. So what I wanted to do is kind of, um, at the very end of this, I'm gonna go through each one that's in here. So if you're interested in seeing their entire inventory and kind of like my visual description of it as compared to what it's reading like in the camera and then also comparing like there's several navy ish type of colors and kind of comparing those and there's also some true dupes like the suplex color and the tasseling color are exactly the same so save yourself the money and buy the generic version right um but in this portion of the video i wanted to kind of go through some that i think would be really good for this it's so hard for me because I am drawn to the navies and the olives and even like those steely grays, but I'm going to try really hard to not get one of those for this and do something a little bit more fun and unexpected. So the first one that I was immediately drawn to is what is called Coral Rose, and this is a suplex color, Coral Rose. It's really pretty and bright. These colors always favor my skin tone. Every time I wear colors like this, people compliment me. And in a way, 
it's kind of neutral, <laughs> which I know sounds so silly. It's definitely not a neutral, but think about all the things that this matches. Um, it's going to go with your whites, your blacks, your um, like tans, also with navy, also with green. Um, so it, it does go with a lot. I, I feel like these, <laughs> these corally colors do. This one's more pink than orange. So um, not a true coral, but maybe that's what coral rose means. More of a rose than a coral, I think, in terms of the name. Um, next up is what they're calling Ocean Depths. And this is a really pretty teal color. Um, teal is a great cool color for people with darker skin tones. It's one of those really rich, vibrant colors that I really love. So this is De Ocean Depths, and this is a supplex um, fabric. Next, and this is more for like a true springtime one, but I like the lavender a lot. This is Sufflex's lavender. It's a really pretty lavender, not too bright, but not too dull either. Also purple is my favorite color, so maybe that's why I'm drawn to lavender. Um, what else? There is this one called Butterfly by Sufflex. I love butterflies. Um, this is kind of like, um, a light lime green which might seem odd but if you think about it with like jeans or something like that I think it could play off of that navy color of jeans really well I don't know this might be a bit of a risky choice because it is I don't know how it would be so much of it you know what I mean like it's pretty in this one little square but like a whole jacket might be a little bit much here are the blues and the olives that I love I'm going to skip right over those um let's see colony blue is really pretty it's like a cross between a blue and a lavender in a way it's like a purple it's like yeah like a purpley blue um i almost like it better than the, like the sky blue that's in here that's called colony blue and then there's this persian red so it's kind of like a burgundy but redder than that pinker than that in a way so this is Persian red and this is the Suplex Persian red. So this would, I think, be really good in the fall if you were going to make one just for each season. But it could definitely work in spring too because of those pinky colors in there. There's like the sea, like, yeah, like seafoam bluish color. You can see all the colors, every single one of them at the end of this video. These are just like my favorites, I think. So now we're getting into the Taslands. Oh, and here is Seafoam. Okay, so this is 100% nylon, two-ply, Tasland, DWR, nylon fabric. I don't even know what half of that means, but what I do know from looking at it is that it's sheer. It's more sheer than the other fabrics that I've shown you, if you can see my hand kind of through there. And I do think that this pattern is lined. Let me see, loose fitting, loose fitting unlined. Uh, outside casing, inside casing, two piece sleeves, please. So maybe not. I don't know what this outside casing, inside casing means. <laughs> but the, um, is that one even lined? I think it's lined in parts. So I don't know if this sheer sea foam would work for that. I mean, would you want to see your clothes underneath your rain jacket? Maybe. You'd have to, like, I don't know. I don't, it's such a pretty color though, but it is for sure like see-through. I mean, when you put it, yeah, it's legit see-through. If you wore a print, you would totally be able to see it. Um, so more navies, more grays. <laughs> I love the navies and grays. Let's see. Anything else in here? This one's really pretty. This one's called five ounces per square yard multiply tasselon nylon in blue shadow so you can see there it's definitely more heavyweight um so it's going to be more structured than the other ones but that color is really pretty for sure what else white gray and then okay yeah so those are my favorite one my favorite like non-neutral ones um but yeah so there will be a link to i'll link the patterns i'll link mccall's pattern 7333 i'll link soaholics jacket patterns and then i'll give you a link to rocky woods website 
where you can search for Suplex and Taslan and um and buy your fabrics there i want to say they're pretty affordable so the suplex is 7.99 a yard and the taslan is 5.99 a yard so i mean i think they're really great quality um tons of colors to choose from if you're looking into making a rain jacket hopefully you'll check out rocky woods and these fabrics that i am showing you today and you can find the perfect color that you had in mind and not end up with bubblegum pink sorry abby <laughs> okay this is dandelion it's a bright yellow this is heliotrope and it's looking blue on the camera i gotta be honest but it's more of like a grape um it's a really dark purple not really showing up right but it's like a green um this is coral rose um it's like a muted coral not so much orange more pink this is vegas gold it's like a goldish taupe this is ocean depth and it's like this looking a little blue but it's actually more green in real life um it's more like teal um or like a peacock blue if you can imagine that this is dazzling blue um it's not this blue in real life it's more like a royal blue um it definitely has more purple to it than what's showing up on camera this is lavender light purple lovely this is black this is cobalt again these blues are just not showing up um cobalt is not that different between it's like a combo between dazzling blue and heliotrope so if you combine this and this you would have this so this is definitely a purpley blue um and this is grape and this is um, like a bluer blue, like a royal blue. So that was cobalt. Um, this is butterfly. It's like um, a really light springy green. This is patriot blue, very dark navy. This is green, maybe OD green, but it's like an olive. It looks really good on camera. Um, Port Royal. Burgundy, another black, this is olive, so if you want to see the difference between olive and green, you can tell green is much darker and olive is, well, olive -er. <laughs> Um, What else? Marigold, marigold is like, I don't know, sports team yellow, it's like orangey yellow. This is um, dandelion. And that's marigold. It is gold for sure. Um, here is colony blue. Um, it looks okay on camera. It is a light blue. This one definitely has some more lavender undertones than what's showing up on camera. Really, really pretty. Parfait pink. It's a little bit more bubblegummy. It look it's looking like nice and light here, but it's definitely got some bubblegum tones to it. This is red. It is a very, very bright in your face red. This is Persian red. Persian red has some pink to it. So let's compare it to the burgundy. You can see those differences there. And even this coral, you can see those differences there. How the coral's more pink and this is more red. This is almost like a magenta. If you wanna think about like a, sort of like a muted magenta in a way. Um, this is called Gulf Stream, and it's like a really pretty sky blue. This is wrought iron, and it's like a gray, like a grayish. It had definitely, it looks, it's looking a little steely here. It definitely has some beige in it, though, in real life. This is Java, chocolate brown, like dark chocolate brown. Little Boy Blue is more of like, I don't, a baby blue, whereas this is sky blue. That's like a baby blue. Here is cypress green, and cypress green actually, it's like a very, very dark green, not quite forest green. It almost has some blue in it. 
you know if that makes any sense here is the um olive next to it yeah it's a very dark muddy green this is seedling green almost like that yellowy bright yellowy green here's another this is woven olive this is little boy blue just in the rip stop not in the um what was the other one suplex here is true red let's see what true red looks like against red red that we saw earlier so those differences so here's the suplex red on top and this is the tasseland red on bottom and really i mean they're indiscernible you cannot tell one from the other in terms of color tropical green this is straight neon green bright bright neon green this would be really great as piping i think um this is another black multiply black this is safari tan and it is that like khaki that khaki tan color here is sea foam and you can tell sea foam is greener than gold stream sea foam really is that sea foam green you can see how sheer it is too um, here is police blue. I don't know if I can find the other. Is this it? Patriot blue versus police blue. Can y'all see a difference there? Yeah, it's like one's more navy. Um, police blue is definitely darker. Let's see what else. Another chocolate. Here's the first one. So this, this is Suplex chocolate on top. Or Java, I'm sorry. This is Java. And then on the bottom is Tasland's um, chocolate. So Java here and chocolate here. All right. Another navy it looks like. This is called ink. And ink compared to police blue. You can see those differences there. And ink compared to patriot blue. This is getting harder. <laughs> is that difference. Right like that not much of a difference at all in fact yeah i would say these are dupes for each other so the suplex patriot blue is a dupe for tasland's ink i would say those um are very comparable in terms of color this is silver silver definitely has um like a steely gray to it where was the other is this it wrought iron yeah so, Suplex, Taslan. And this might even be, yeah, this is a multiply Taslan. So that's why it's sheerer than the regular Suplex. But you can see the colors there. And then Foliage. Foliage there, which also has like a grayish beige topiness to it. That's true to what it looks like on camera is what it really looks like. Um, here's another navy. There are so many options, geez, for navies, but you can tell like the differences are so subtle. Um, so that is ink. This is police blue. Let's see. Those are pretty close. Police blue is darker, but not by as much as showing um, in real life. They're closer in real life. So these are all of the navies here. Patriot blue, police blue um navy and ink patriot ink navy police so you can see how these two are more similar and these two are more similar dark 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 navy and this is like a true navy what you would expect whenever you think of navy this is almost like a black navy both of them all right here is happy blue Happy Blue isn't quite as happy in real life as it is here. It's more subtle in real life. Really pretty blue color. Here's white. Here is another olive. This one's called Rifle Green. Where are my other olives? So it's nothing like that dark green. Where's the olive? So you can get an idea of the differences there. 
so this is a more like leafy green called rifle green this is nomad very true to the color in the camera is really what i'm seeing here it's like a it's like a great little neutral i actually really like that that could be weird with some people's skin tones though so i would be leery of that um for that reason then we have another chocolate brown this is blue shadow blue shadow is really pretty actually would be like a really great wall color is that weird to say um it's definitely like a gray blue um it's reading a little bit more at least reading lighter in real life than it is um I'm sorry, lighter in the camera than it is in real life, but it's definitely a really pretty muted blue. Really pretty. This is Steel Gray. Steel Gray. And these are all sort of their mid-weight versions, so. Um, blue Stone. Here's Blue Stone next to, what did they call it? Blue Shadow. So blue stone versus blue shadow. Blue shadow is not that baby blue. It is lighter than this, obviously, but it's reading really baby blue next to it. Um, it's definitely a gray blue, but not as light as baby blue. Here's white. Here's frost gray. That's really pretty. Here is pewter. Pewter's nice. It's like a dark gray, not black. That's nice. Marigold. Now, why do we have two? Oh, this is the coated version. So it's the same color as before, but it has a coating on it. And then this is dark navy, which, I mean, looking at our other navies that I pulled out, it's almost more gray than the other ones. It's not really navy to me. It's gray in real life and in the camera. And that is all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe um, and give us a thumbs up. Every time you thumbs up a video, it shares it with others so that they can find our channel too. Uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We are Inside the Hem everywhere, also on Pinterest. And so, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys around. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.